Happy New Year! Welcome to Octagon Garage. My name is Robert, and today, yeah, we're back in the kitchen. A little bit inclement outside. We had a nice storm that came through, and, and it's snowing right now. So, But I wanted to talk to you about thermostats and why they're important for your engine. Uh, here's a thermostat for an MGB, and this one is the 180 degree thermostat that uh, came out of my 79 MGB Bernadette. It's been running a little warm. I put a 160 in it, took the 180 out. And as far as I know, there's nothing wrong with it, so I saved it. Um, but we want to regulate low end water temperature. So it opens up at 160, 180, 190, 195, however, whichever one you choose. I'm beginning to think that a 160 for uh, for my applications is working good, keeps the engine temperature a little bit lower, and um, I don't have to necessarily worry about winter driving or anything like that. I don't drive the car in the winter, so uh, the heater is very rarely used and that kind of thing. So um, I put the 160 in. Some people... Uh, in colder climates would put the 180 or 190, 195 in, that type of thing. So, but I got a pot of hot water here. Got my little thermometer rigged up here uh, so it's not touching the bottom. But I wanted to show you guys what happens to a thermostat when it opens up. And this is also a way you can test them. I've had thermostats stick open on cars and it takes forever for the thing to heat up and then it gets cold outside and you're wondering how come I'm not getting any heat? Thermostat was stuck open. The other issue you could run into is it could stick closed and your engine could overheat which is real bad and you'll know it'll come up to temperature real quick and then uh, continue to go way too high. Um, they also do make, I don't have one, but they also do make a fail safe. I know Moss Motors sells them um, the thermostat that I got for my 79, I just went down to AutoZone and got, it's their Duralast brand, uh, that was a part number 15356, and, you know, they have those in stock, it probably cross-references with a bunch of different vehicles, and this one I picked up through one of the local parts suppliers. This is a brand new. It's 160 degree also. It's a moto rad made in the United States. So interesting. Um, that's a GTS 102. Um, so that would be, be this one. But anyway, I got a little off track here. They make a fail safe one to where if your water temperature, let's say, gets up about 225, 230, that has little spring clips on the side and it causes the thermostat to open and then it stays open to prevent your engine from overheating if it was to stick closed. And then once they're sprung, it stays open, you, then you have to replace it, which if it failed, you'd need to replace it anyhow, but uh, prevents engine damage. So. Anyway, I'll get you zoomed in here a little bit better. I think our water's getting up to temperature, and we'll put these in there, and I'll show you. So, let's get you zoomed in here. Actually, I don't know how much zoom we can get out of this. But, I'll tell you, this new stand I got been, been very helpful. So, we are currently at... Yeah, right about 180 degrees. So I'll just drop the 160 in. That should open pretty quickly. I'll put the 180 in. I think I'll just crank the temperature up on the stove just a little bit. Give this, hopefully this doesn't take too long. Give this a few seconds. But I would suggest you know, on an MGB, if you're going to do a, if you're going to do a coolant change, you know, go ahead and 
and change the thermostat what the gaskets 85 cents and the thermostats another six or seven dollars if you go and you buy the the um, fail safe one I think they're about 18 or 19 you know or under a 20 20 dollars um, I don't know if AutoZone would have the fail safe ones for MG uh, but I did see them in stock for other vehicles uh, so you know wouldn't just apply just to MG oh yeah here they are we're opening up so I'll get this out and you can see look at how much that opens up so and this is not a bad idea to do I mean it's not necessary um, I've never had it happen, but I've heard of people saying that, you know, they've had a bad thermostat out of the box. I mean, they are mechanical. Anything's possible. Something could sneak by the quality control. So, it, you know, it could happen. There's the 180, and it's, you know, it opened up pretty good. It does look like there is a little bit of a difference they'll cool off so quick that they'll start to shut but it looks like the 160 opens up a little bit wider than the than the 181 maybe uh, if we crank the temperature up a little bit more it would but you can see the plate right here is down and it's already starting to move shut but you can see the uh, and see it starting to close but that's how they work uh, it has a spring in there it's uh, you know it's when it heats up it compresses and it allows that to open up cools off and it shuts uh, some people well in some thermostats you'll see a little hole right here and some you don't uh, it's good to have I think the little hole there some people will drill a hole there uh, to help with belching the air out of the system when you go to do a coolant change uh, to do a coolant system uh, service and some of them will have the hole or it will have a hole with a kind of like a little check valve kind of affair uh, almost looks like a rivet put in there but it's loose so water and air can can dribble by so um, I know with some engines they're very sensitive to belching the air out of the system uh, the Jeep 4.0 liter engine you got to be very careful about getting the air out of the out of the top end of the engine because there's places where air can get caught in the cylinder head and uh, it'll crack the cylinder head like right now. So you got to make sure that you belch all that air out of there uh, before you get that engine hot. So anyhow, till next time, you have a good day. Talk to you later. Bye.